Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lydia. Very excited, Lydia. If you're new, welcome. Oh my god, I really threw my hands off in the air. <laughs> if you're new, welcome and raise your hands. I'm Lydia. I create lifestyle, travel, and previously run vlogs, but now we are getting into interiors because today is my moving in day. Please don't forget to like this video because it really does help it reach new audiences. And I think I'm right in guesstimating that by the time this video comes out, we have hit 200k. That would be awkward if we haven't. But we have hit 200k! Woohoo! <laughs> I am so freaking excited, guys. That's so amazing. 200,000 people around the world kind of joining into my journey. That is just... It's amazing like thank you so so much for riding with me especially for those people who've been riding with me from early as you can see i'm parked outside b and q i need to go in here and get a power drill uh oh no no not a power drill i need to get an automatic screwdriver <laughs> i need to get an automatic screwdriver oh my god is this uncle in the car next to me and he's like staring at me like i'm talking to myself which i am but like i'm working you know <laughs> it's odd yeah okay anyway um we're here to get a screwdriver automatic screwdriver i think that's what it is that's what sade said shout out to home with sade you guys anytime you know if you see me outside b and q you know that sade sent me here so i'm going to go and get that tool because we are putting together my bed next to me here in the car guys my car first of all my car is clean and this is this is like this is wonderful i left the house in such a rush of excitement I left all these shoes. They're not even the right size. Like, you know, the right way. But you know, they're my boyfriend's sandals, his holiday sandals. And he is a whole size 11. I am a whole size five. I, this is now what I'm walking around London with. That's crazy. But my outfit, oh my God, it's all blackity black, black owned. I'll show it to you a bit later on. Let's go and get a power drill first. You know, mask because Corona is in the air. Corona is still in the air, but London is open. Oh, which country am I going to first? That's what I'm trying to find out. Never mind London. I'm trying to leave. Let's go. I've just got to the house. Dot is here helping me basically move all the stuff from the car. There is so much. It's insane. Oh my gosh. Dot, you, I'm so excited to show you the dishes. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm gonna need you to wash them up though. <laughs> see. You wanna see it now? Okay, you wanna see all the stuff now? Or yeah, I let me show you a dish. Guys, all I'm staring at right ahead of me here is so much work. So much unpacking to be done here today. It's insane. But the only thing, the only thing, or one of the things that I have unpacked here, you can see behind me, guys, look. It's my new babes. In fact, she's not so new. This is something that I brought over from my boyfriend's place. I've had this probably for the last like two and a half weeks and it is amazing. This is my Philips Air Purifier. Purifier? It's a tongue twister for me. This is my Philips Air Purifier and it's from the Series 3000i, guys. This is amazing and I fell in love with it. I was actually meant to unbox this here, but I could not wait. So I've already started using it, guys. You have to forgive me. But it actually means that I can give you more details. I think that's better. That works out for everyone. To be honest, cleaning has never been a fun task for me. I don't know if you guys relate, but now that I'm in my own house, things feel a lot different. I think it's because everything is new and I just want to keep it that way. I can remember being young and being at my parents house and every single Saturday we had to clean you guys did you have that in your house Saturday morning cleaning routines I absolutely hated it however now that I'm in my own space guys it's a bit different like I am so keen on keeping this place looking and feeling fresh and so for me this little baby behind me she's gonna help me do just that so now that the renovations are done I'm trying to keep that new home smell and feel and I'm trying to make a conscious effort to keep the air clean too thank you so much to Philips for sponsoring your girl in this video the Philips air purifier is a thing of beauty I can really tell the difference in my air quality and did you know that sometimes that in Outdoor air pollution is actually a lot worse than the outdoor air pollution. I didn't know that beforehand. Indoor air pollution can be things like the cooking smells, heat sources and dust. And being someone who's got this open plan living space, that is very important for me to keep the air clean and smelling good for both parties, you know? I also really like the design of the air purifier. You guys know that I'm mad picky about things that are going in this house. Everything is being scrutinized 
and she passed the test. To me, it looks clean, modern, and it fits right with my aesthetic. So another cool thing is that the air can actually be monitored via the purifier itself or the app here. Look, that's me turning it on straight from my phone. And you can also turn it off and do everything else via remote control. Oh girl, you know we love a smart home. I'm gonna leave all of the details for this purifier in my description box. Please be sure to click it, check it out and let me know what you guys think. What do I have left to do now? I just basically, well, me and Dot. <laughs> Dot and I both have to just unpack this house and also go and do my bed and her bed too. And then, oh, is, it, is it like a filament thing or is it a bulb thing? If it's a, you know, <laughs> a filament thing. <laughs> I don't know, you asking me questions that I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Well, Adrian, the way Adrian was explaining it, it was like it can be fixed. This? Yeah. The bulb can be changed to dimmable. No, who knows? Anyway, guys, listen up, listen. It is now nine, it is now quarter past nine in the evening. And as you can see behind me, we have done zero work because I have been sitting here trying to publish this house tour. This today is the 18th of um, April, which is the day that the house tour has gone live. Um, I don't know what you guys think of it, obviously, because it's currently not live. And it's really annoying me. YouTube checks are killing me, guys. YouTube checks are absolutely killing me. It's now when you upload a video on YouTube, it has this thing in the back end where it checks for, I don't even know, in fact, I don't even know what it's actually checking for. It just says checks running. And it's been like this for the last like 40 minutes. It is now 20 past nine and this video should have been up at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock latest and it's now 20 past nine, but it's fine. Also, that means that we actually haven't done anything as in the bed hasn't been set up. My moving day has been a complete, a complete fail. Like a complete fail, a complete fail. But do you know what? There's an air mattress for safety and there's also the mattresses are actually here. I don't mind just kitting it out on the mattress. This is so stereotypically linear. I need, I need Prosecco. I don't know. I think, do we even have glasses? Yes, sir. Oh, we've got teacups. Oh, we can have it in the new teacups. Yeah. We've got flutes too. Look at the flutes. Look at these. Guys, so these are some of the bits that um, I got from the charity shop. I meant to show it to you earlier, but I got stuck doing this. Do you want to have it in a teacup or in the flutes? I'm having it in a flute. Okay. I don't know if I showed you guys my outfit earlier on, but this is my fit. These jeans, these are not jeans. These leggings are from Her Season. Look at the way they look, they look so good. Her Season official. Top is arch snatched. Feeling good. Where the, where's the Prosecco? I mean, where's the, where's, the, where's the glasses? In that one. That's the wrong place. Is this where we're gonna keep them? No. <laughs> That's what Dot said I look like right now. That's hilarious. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ay, ay, ay. I'm crocking up. Oh my God, YouTube's checks are still running. Let's just pop the camera. Prosecco. Are we, going, are we going to ever see you in the vlogs or what? Yeah, I'm coming back, guys. Coming back? I'm coming back in full force. Not right now, though. It's <laughs> quiet. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, cheers, babes, to our new home. Woo! To cheers. our new home. We'll have to keep it clean, though. <laughs> that was from bad. Thank you. That was from the ancestors. Thank you. <laughs> Morning guys, morning. So, what day is it today? Monday? Is it Monday already? I'm tired guys. Listen, after yesterday's fail of my moving day, I'm actually exhausted, but it's all good. I am starting the vlog today. We are at Harley Street. If you know anything about London, Harley Street is like a very infamous street where basically lots of medical things happen. You can have doctors here. Um, actually, it's really popular and well known for the fact that you have um, doctor surgeries here, but I'm not here for surgery. I'm not here for surgery. I am here for my full MOT health check. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm literally right by a crossing in the middle of the road. Um, oh, that skin is popping. 
Popeth. Okay, anyway, this is my clinic that I'm about to go into, 117 uh, Harley Street. I don't know if I can recommend them yet because I've literally not been inside and I booked this online. I booked myself a full health MOT. My phone is ringing, dots calling. A full body MOT stands for um, basically measurements, observations and tests um, of your body to make sure that everything is working fine. It's basically a full medical. It was expensive, it was expensive. It was literally just under a thousand pounds. I'll make sure that I find the price, but um, my appointment is literally in the next four minutes, but I'm already here, so yeah. Guys, wish me luck. I don't even know what they're gonna make me do, if I'm gonna be jumping about, if I'm gonna be doing, I don't know. I don't know, literally I don't know, but um, yeah, feeling good, looking good, look at the skin. I forgot to put my SPF on, I really did. And now I feel regretful because the sun is really out. Don't forget your SPF. Anyway, let's just go in here and let's see this medical. This is the most bougie doctor's office I've ever been to in my entire life. This is crazy. Look, look at the waiting area. Can I get my doctors here? It's also a GP surgery. It's also a sexual health clinic. And it's also um, somewhere where you can get your full medical. I'm here for the full medical. I'm just here filling out this form. Got a medical form to fill in and then give it back to the receptionist. So first things first, it's the earring test. I've never had a hearing test before. Okay, let's see. <laughs> so I'm sanitizing first the forms. Okay. I'm very, very excited. Um, I, I literally don't know what to expect. Okay, I'll put... Is it good? Yeah. You, you will hear a beeping sound that comes from one side on, of your ear to mm. another side of your ear. Mm -hmm. Any time that you hear a beeping sound, just press the button. Press but the button. Don't press it too hard because then the machine will not recognize it. Okay? okay. Cool. That's it. So I just listen for beeps? Yeah, that's it. Okay. How long is it going to go for? Roughly five minutes. Okay, okay uh, are you ready? Yep. Uh, your left ear is better than the right. Left is better than the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought so. I could yeah. hardly hear anything on it. Yeah, so I can see even the results. Yeah. So everything that is above 30, yeah. uh, it means that your hearing is not great. Above 30 is... Above, not great. Mm -hmm. Under 30 mm -hmm. is very good. Okay. So normally you have under 30, mm -hmm. but only here is a little bit. Yeah. So it is the right ear. Yeah. The left ear is fine. Okay. Okay, cool. But still, you can hear, yeah. basically. <laughs> I'm so, glad to know. My blood never comes. It's like I'm dead. No. <laughs> yeah. No way. The Hopefully we will not have this problem. Hopefully not. Make, make a fist. My veins never come up. Yes. Oh, we have one. Okay. Yeah. Are you okay with needles? If I don't see it, I'm good. Oh, it's okay. Don't see it then. <laughs> oh, you're taking a lot, girl. <laughs> 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 She's taking a lot of this. Am I gonna be okay? <laughs> you will be fine. Just drink so drink a lot of fluids after. Yeah. Okay. Got water. <laughs> So far, so good. The lady has been so lovely and explains everything so well. I love things simply explained, okay? Um, so yeah, she says as part of the appointment, I need to go and get my chest x-ray, but my chest x-ray is somewhere different to where we are. So I need to just do a quick walk and it's booked for 11 o'clock, which is in four minutes. So let's walk down to King Edward's Hospital. I think that's near where my dentist is. Guys, listen, I don't know why I be in the bougie side of London these days, you know? <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna get this chest. <laughs> Let me go and check my chest out. This place is nice. Oh, I'm not in this life. You have to have more me. Have more me. I'm back in the center. Next, we're doing my ECG electrical cardiogram. What is it? What are you looking for? What is it? Heart rhythm. Heart rhythm. Yeah. So I have to get naked, and obviously, you got guys. I'm not gonna get to see this part. I'm gonna check my heart rhythm if my heart is okay. My heart is very much in love, but is it actually medically okay? Let's find out. Let's find out. Onto the scale next. I am nervous. 
She's taking off 0.5 off of the wig. <laughs> oh, that's so good. 65.7. So your age is 28, yeah? 28, yeah. I'm happy with that. I'll show you your uh, fat percentage. Oh God. That's and good. I'll show you BMI. Okay. But the thing is, it's always going to say I'm overweight. Always. Uh, we will find out. <laughs> it's always going to say I'm overweight because I got a big ass. This way. Check your blood pressure. So I will check everything mm -hmm. and then in the end I will show you the results. The results. What is it again called? Uh, it is peak flow. Peak flow. For long. So I just blow really hard. So when I came in earlier, when I was waiting in the in the waiting room, I had to give a little urine sample and that's what's being checked. I'm very embarrassed at the colour of my urine. It's literally brown and that means I have not been drinking water. I even bought this this morning and I'm not even not even halfway. Now we are we're doing a vision test and this one I know I'm gonna fail. <laughs> okay, he moved forward a few steps. The house was so dark behind him, the world was so dim, uncertain in front of him, that for a moment his heart failed. Color blindness test. Okay. Let's see if you are color blind, okay? Mm -hmm. 12. Yeah. 8653. 1574. 26. Okay. okay. I can you're, see. Yes. <laughs> you're not color blind. And try to read this part for me. Can you? Cover one? Yeah. No? L M E T M L N E T H O A. Exactly. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, what does that mean? So <laughs> maybe you might need uh, glasses for this then. Yeah. Because you could uh, you could read with both of with your both eyes, eyes yeah. but not with each of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, we did everything. Mm -hmm. So you will see the doctor shortly. Okay. I will give everything to the doctor what we did. Mm -hmm. And then you can have a converse, uh, consultation with him. All you right. can ask him anything that might concern you. Okay. Okay. Can I take a picture of my, my weight and stuff? Absolutely. My BMI yeah. stuff? Thank you. Very happy. Good, good. Yeah, <laughs> I am. I've been working hard, man. I Very can't good. lie. Very good. Good afternoon, guys. Afternoon, so it is the next day. Um, yesterday I had gone for all of my appointments at Harley Street and do you know what I wanted to just kind of round it all up because really I would have loved to come back and like end the vlog with like my results and everything but the blood tests actually take a little bit of time to come back I didn't even know I didn't even ask but I think I'm guessing like a week at least oh the light in here isn't working for us it's like it's late afternoon and the sun comes in so beautifully it looks really gorgeous in here but it's just a bit awkward it's a bit awkward for the vlog, but you guys can still see. Look at that. Look at the corridor. Just look at the corridor. Everything is so stunning, honestly. Just using this argan oil foam just to try and slip my hair down. I went into this to try and get my x ray. Sat in the waiting room. Very, very nice waiting room. Guys, all I'm going to say is that private, that private life, it's different. I need to be private for real. I, I'm not even private, literally. I'm, I don't have private healthcare. I really don't should. That's something that I need to sort out. Private healthcare, because it's just so different. Honestly, it's just a different level. Tell me why at the hospital there was a guy with a top hat. A top hat outside the hospital for you to get in. They don't do that on the NHS. <laughs> they really don't. But shout out to the NHS, man, because that really does keep us going. It really, most countries don't even have public healthcare. So I know that there's levels to this, but honestly, shout out to the NHS and all of the key workers too. Look at that, should we clap? No? I don't know. So another thing that I didn't share with you guys is the visit to the doctors. As part of the package, you get to see a doctor. Guys, I went into a doctor's office. Not a GP, a doctor's office. When I tell you that it was nice, it's just a different, it's just a different kind of, it's different. It's different, that's what I'm gonna say. It's just not anything that I have been used to, not the GP that I have been going through for all my life. And now I feel to upgrade. <laughs> you know, once you've seen something, you can't unsee it. That's what I want. That's where I wanna be going for my checks. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's work to that. Let's work towards that for real. 
but the doctor's office visit was very interesting i have to say very interesting good but interesting the interesting part is I had to have a, well didn't have to, but we did a breast examination and I was very shook at the idea of that. Usually I'm someone who's very comfortable, like I'm very comfortable with my nakedness and I'm very comfortable with my own body. So really the thought of doing a breast examination is not something that's scary to me, but I don't know, lately I don't know, like, you know. Now it's kind of like, oh, like I don't know how I feel about this. Is there going to be like another person in here? But luckily, 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 um, he went and called another lady, the lady who was actually doing all of my tests, who was so kind and lovely to me throughout. So she came in and kind of watched as he was doing the breast um, exam, which made me feel so comfortable. Like, I don't know who came up with that whole system, but it's just a wonderful way, because I feel like, I don't even know how to examine my breasts, so not, that's not something that I say proudly, literally at all. I think I need to learn, I, I don't think. I know I need to learn how to do it properly. I wouldn't even know how to do it properly, let alone not know when someone is not doing it properly and possibly taking advantage. I know that, I don't know. That's just where my mind goes sometimes, like I, it just goes really left. So I'm so, so, so glad that my mind didn't even have to go left because that lady was present to watch and make sure that everything was being done nicely. So I really, really like that really like that after doing all the tests i feel so much better knowing that i am actually in good health obviously just waiting on the test results for other stuff and the blood work and stuff but just pray that those will be fine too um yeah i've been looking after myself a lot a lot of like glow up self glow up i was talking to my mom my mom's like wow you're really looking after yourself huh i've been going to the dentist to look after my teeth to dr metals and we're cleaning the other half of my gums we did like this half last week and they looked so 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 good so lydia how was your Appointment. Horrible. Why? It was so painful. Painful. Yeah. Didn't they give you the? Anesthesia? They did. That's the worst part. The fact that when they when they numb your gum, I, I started crying. Oh, for real. Yeah. But did I think it's because I'm on my menstrual. You know that makes everything yeah. more painful. It was so so painful, and he put like three lots of injections, and, and each still... time I'm like, for real. Let's play Janae Aiko. In hindsight, that was a bad idea. Janae. Because I was pumping my feels then. So sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so it is numb. Does it still hurt? It doesn't hurt. It's just really, really hurts when they're numbing it. Oh, when they're oh, numbing when it. Because they numbing. inject, yeah, got them, got they inject them. inside the gum, like on the sides. I feel like this is going to be quite stuck like this for a while. Because they gave you a lot. Yeah, a lot. Oh, it's all good. You can't even see my face. <laughs> Are you smiling when you said? <laughs> Smiling, Just look at how weird my face looks. <laughs> Ooh, that that is an episode in itself, honestly. Uh, so yeah, my oral hygiene, obviously my skincare, I'm always on top of it. And now I'm doing like internal, making sure that all of the internals are working well, you know. So I'm feeling good. Self care, you have to look after yourself. We only get one body, we only get one life. So what we have, we have to look after. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling. And I feel like I want to set in the vlog here. So I hope that this video has been useful and encouraging to you. We definitely need to keep looking after ourselves. And that goes in, in all fashions, like looking after yourself by like going to the gym, looking after yourself by going for checkups, looking after yourself and booking those appointments that you've been meaning to book, sis. You know, the health checkup that you've been meaning to book. This is the cue. Okay, guys, don't forget to please like the video if you're enjoying this content and this channel. I'm trying to get to 250k ASAP, you know? Coming with that American energy and a beautiful house. Ah, you're gonna love it, honestly. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna have to see you in my next week video. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm gonna leave all the details for the clinic that I went to below. This was not an ad, this was not a sponsor. I paid all of my own monies. It, a lot of money too, man. A lot of monies. I hope that this is useful for somebody and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye.